if you wanted to hear a workshop about the exact type of granite to use and the uh, trending color schemes and the west side of Cincinnati versus the east side of Cincinnati, I'm afraid you're going to be disappointed tonight. What I want to give you guys is some real knowledge that I think is going to help you out regardless of how long you've been investing in real estate. And it doesn't have a whole lot to do with what type of electric that you need to look for or exactly what type of contractors you need to hire. But I want you guys to come away with a solid foundation that you can apply to all different types of rehabs. So I'm going to hit a couple must-haves that you got to have to get started. Just laying the foundation, I'm going to go back and I'm going to talk about each one of these things individually. <coughs> Number one, the first thing you have to have, you have to have some type of a goal. You have to know what it is that you want to make and how long you want it, want it to be before you make that. A lot of times you get started, you say, hey, I just, I just want to do something. I just want to get into a house. I want to do it. I want to do multifamilies. No, no, I want to do condos. No, no, no I want to do single families. No, I want to do flips. I want to do rent. And they're just kind of all over the place because you don't have a goal. So we'll talk about that tonight. The other thing you want to have, you want to have a specific timeline. So you want to know, okay, I want to make this much money and I want to do it in this amount of time. The other thing you have to have, you have to have some type of a purchase method. You have to have the ability to buy the property. I'm not here to teach you no money down real estate investing strategies. I'm here to tell you that you're going to have to have some type of money, either from your own money, you're going to have to borrow money, you're going to have to do something. It's hard to start investing in real estate. If we're, and we're talking specifically about rehabbing houses here, flipping houses. You're going to need some type of money to get started. But we'll talk about five different things for that. You're going to need contractors too. Unfortunately, this business would be great if you didn't need contractors, but they're the toughest things to deal with. They're the toughest people to deal with. We're going to talk about what you're going to need for surrounding contractors and some challenges that you're going to have. All right, so you need a goal, right? You need a timeline. Purchase method, right? You're going to know how you're going to buy a house. And you got to need contractors, right? Now, if I ask anybody, if I bet if I ask 10 brand new real estate investors, what's the first thing that you need if you want to start investing in real estate? What do you think that they would say? Money. 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 What's the second thing they would say? Knowledge. No, maybe. I, I think the first thing that they would say is, I really need a house. Because <laughs> that's what they like. They, we have people that call us all the time. They want to go look at houses all day. They don't have the ability to buy anything. They're not approved for financing. They got $2 in their bank account, but they want to go look at houses. I go down to the Greyhound bus station and find 30 people that want to get started investing in real estate. But if they don't have the ability to buy, it doesn't matter. <coughs> See, sometimes people just kind of get their car before the horse. And they just want to go out and just, just get a property. Just get something. Just get started. I don't care if I even make money on the first one. Really? I hope you care if you make money on the first one. So after you have all those other things, the final piece is the house. It's not first. Once you've got all those things in place, then you can go out and you'll find a property for you. And what you'll learn is that if you did all those things, you do, it doesn't take very long to get all those things in place. The house itself doesn't really matter as much because it's just kind of a means to an end. I'll spend some time talking about that as well.